Now we're going to do an interrupted suture using instruments. So we're gonna have two instruments. One is your pickup, and the other one is your needle driver. The pickup should be held like a pencil. Should not be held like this, but like a pencil. Uh, this is an Adson. It's got sharp uh, teeth. This is you usually use this for skin. The needle driver can be held two ways. One, you can palm it. As you can see, when I palm the needle driver, my forefinger goes along the length, the uh, longitudinal axis of the instrument. The thenar eminence is where one ring is and then you hold it or you kind of hold it into position with uh, the fourth and fifth digit at the meta metacarpal phalangeal joint. So how do you open it up? Well, you can open up the instrument this way with the palming by using your thenar in, uh, eminence and then pushing out. So you gotta grip it with uh, the digits three through five like this and then you push out with your thenar eminence and that releases it. To, to lock it, you just push down with your thumb. So push out to release, push down to lock. Now, another way to hold it is to put your fingers through it. So I put my thumb partially through it and I put my ring, my, my fourth digit, my ring digit through it. I hook with my second or middle finger to uh, keep it uh, steady. Again, my, my, first, my second digit or my forefinger is along the longitudinal axis. And to open it up, you push out with your thumb. To close it, you just kind of push down with your thumb and that locks it. So push out and push down. How do we load our needles? Well, first of all, when you load a needle, you should avoid picking it up like with your fingers like that. What you should do is you should use your instruments at all times. When you load it using your needle driver, what you wanna do is you wanna grasp it with the needle driver this instrument, the tip. If you, if you, if there's an arc here, and this is the needle point, you want to do it either halfway along the arc from the needle point, or more. So either three quarters of the way or halfway. You don't want to go any less because it makes it very difficult to throw your suture. The other point is you want to have it at a 90 degree angle to the instrument, the needle, when you grasp it, or greater because if you have it at a more acute angle, it's gonna be very difficult to try to throw that suture. So let's set it up. I'm gonna make it a 90 degree angle, about a 90 degree angle. I'm grasping it a little bit more than halfway there. I'll grasp it. You wanna to try to have the, at the very tip, near the very tip, you don't want it deep in the instrument, but towards the very tip. So I'm ready. Okay, now, the key maneuvers for doing an instrument and throwing uh, a suture with it is pronation and supination. So you wanna pronate and supinate. Watch what happens when I pronate. I pronate and what happens is that sets up because of the curve. These are curved because we pronate and supinate. Sets up the tip, the curve, to be at a right angle with the tissue. See how that's a right angle? So I pronate, I hit my target, I use my instrument to grasp and hold it secure, and then I supinate. And as I supinate, it follows a curve and comes through. And I use my pickup to grasp the needle, keep it in place, I release with my needle holder, and then I f use the curve of the needle. I follow that curve to bring it out more, to set myself up for my next throw. Grasp it. I try to get it in the position. I like that position. See how it's 90 degrees or greater to the instrument. It's at the tip and it's at approximately three quarters of the way back. A little between halfway and three quarters of the way back. Now I can set myself up for the next one. I grasp the inside here with my instrument, my pickup. I expose where the, the dot is where I want to go. Now I'm pronating again and now I'm get that Needle tip at right angles, and then I supinate through. With the supination, hold it steady with your pickup. And I pronate again to set myself up. I got it, grasp it, set it up, 
and bring it through. Now, we're going to do an instrument tie. The key to an instrument tie is a very small tail. So you bring it through to create a very small tail. Then what you do is you take your needle driver, grasp the thread, and what you want to do is you want to place your needle driver along the wound, on the inside of the wound. You don't want to put it on the outside. Outside of the thread, it should be on the inside. And then you wrap it. One would be one throw. If you do two throws, that's a surgeon's knot. So we'll do a surgeon's knot. I've thrown it around twice. Let me do it again for you. On the inside, right next to the wound, so between the strand and the wound, not on the outside. Then you wrap it once. Wrap it again, and because you have that small thread, now you can grasp it. You grasp it with your needle driver, and you cross your hands to make it flat. That makes a flat knot. Now, for the next throw, again, you want to be on the inside between the wound and the thread. You wrap it around again, grasp it, and now you pull out. That sets yourself up. That's going to lie flat inside. Wrap around, grasp, pull through, crossing your hands. That sets yourself up for the next one. You do this numerous times, and as you can see, we're creating square knots that are flat with our interrupted tie. You cut it, and you're finished.